so hey family how's everybody doing today it is a sunday afternoon and i am chilling as you can see y'all i'm not naked i got got my little little, little sundress on just so y'all know but anyway um i just want to come to you guys just to you know i had a taste for some uh seafood and i ran into one of my friends today angela jones she was in food line today when i was shopping for my ingredients you know not really shopping for my ingredients but i knew that i had some scallops and some um shrimp on hand and i had you know i had them thawing out so i was talking to her and she said you know what i want you to do some shrimp lo mein but because i don't have all the ingredients for shrimp lo mein i just decided i said well you know what you know because she said something about a pasta i said well you know what let me probably what i'll do is i'll do a seafood pasta so basically what i have done is i have gathered a few vegetables that i have you know just just something in the refrigerator that was left over from other things that i have made and i decided to do a quick seafood pasta and i didn't have any idea exactly how i was going to do it or whatever but you know i'm all about spare the moment whatever you got in the pantry do what you got to do so we're going to do that real quick and it shouldn't take too long but y'all bear with me because this i got this new camera thing this little mount and i'm not really used to it yet and it's not working properly so y'all just bear with me hey we all family here so we're gonna go and do this uh this uh, seafood pasta okay so hey family I'm back over here by the stove um, my cutting boards everything already been sanitized and everything so what I'm gonna do is what I have here is I'm gonna show you I have a couple of um, uh, veggies that I have and you know like I said it was just a few things that I uh, had in the in the refrigerator that I hadn't had left over so I'm just gonna use uh, I got some zucchini uh, some squash, yellow squash, zucchini, carrots, celery, and a few green peppers. Also found some Brussels sprouts, y'all, and some green onions. So, first off, I'm going to um, slice up these veggies and get them ready, prepared for the saute. And I got my wok over here. This is my cheap wok, y'all. The Lord going to bless me with a decent one sooner or later. But I got my cheap wok over here. It's, uh, it's warming up or whatever and I have my, my oil ready to go but we're going to get these veggies cut real real fast and uh, get started okay and like I said some of these veggies you know they have seen a better day but I wanted to go ahead and use them so that I wouldn't have to throw them away you know I'm all about saving munchy hunty but anyway so let me turn this down so you guys can see this like I said y'all bear with me okay I'm back guys I hope you guys can hear me because I'm old school and my air conditioning my little tiny home is a wall unit so it is rather loud so anyway like I said I have a few uh, vegetables that I have uh, I got some zucchini and as you can tell I cut out the bad spots or whatever because you know we all about making sure we recycle or whatever but anyway I'm gonna move all of this over here and as I cut them up I'm gonna put these in my little colander because I'm going to you know clean them or whatever so I have taken this care and I've already, um, you know, shaved off the uh, skin or whatever because I don't really like skin. And y'all know I don't like carrots a whole lot, but they're good for your eyes and they're always good to put in your little, you know, just a little few things. And I'm kind of cutting them at an angle because, you know, I don't really like to have really thick carrots. You know, I eat them in beef stew and stir fry, different things like that. But I'm cutting them really, really, really thin. I'm cutting them at an angle so they'll be pretty. You know, you got to make your food sexy because, you know, we eat with our eyes, people. A lot of people don't know that, but we eat with our eyes. If it looks good, then we're going to eat it. If it don't, we not. Point blank period. Alrighty. So, and you can, like I said, I'm not going to use a whole lot of carrots. I just wanted to add a little bit of color in there. You know, the world is always better with color. Not just plain old, plain old. Okay, so got my little, my little... Um, yellow squash. Like I said, this yellow squash has seen a better day, but you know, I'm kind of recycling, so I'm just gonna cut it in like little small pieces. You know, because I like, like I said, I like a lot of vegetables. I'm trying to, you know, eat better, y'all. And I actually have started to lose weight, started a new job, uh, doing security, so my fat tail gotta walk every day. And when I tell you, the sister girl is losing some weight. Okay, this is our. Uh, Zucchini. I'm gonna cut that at an angle as well. Just a quick chop. Just a quick chop. Like I said, you put any type of veggies you want in your stir fry. Any type. It don't matter. Whatever you want. We ain't all about recipes here. Just make it do what it do, baby. Make it do what it do, baby. Hey, make it do what it do. Okay. 
got some green peppers. I'm gonna cut that up. I think I just do just a little bit of green peppers. Not very many. Okay, can you guys see me real quick? Okay. Just gonna cut them up, you know, maybe nice. Kinda like my green peppers in strips. Uh oh. Y'all we even got a little bit of celery in his ass. Cut the celery. But it's still peppers. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself for Monica. Okay. So with these um little celery, I'm just gonna, you know, really, really thin. Like I said, it's not a recipe or anything, it's just uh, you know, just a few things I had lying around in the refrigerator. So I decided to utilize them in my stir fry. The more veggies, the merrier. You know what I mean? I don't know what kind of accent that was, y'all, but hey, it just popped up and I just happened to use it. All right? Okay. And y'all know, you know what? Let me do it. I'm going to do just a little bit more of this zucchini. I don't want that zucchini to go back in the refrigerator because if it does, then I will not eat it. But because I'm putting goodies in with this, you know, I'm going to eat it. Y'all, I'm dropping vegetables all on the floor that I cleaned up later. All right, got some more yellow squash. All right. My, my, my uh, knife skills are sucking today, y'all, because I'm rushing and I'm hungry. So, y'all, please forgive me because y'all know I can cook better than this. All right, so we got to get an old Sparky here. Old regular, you know, old school yellow onion. Y'all know, know about my onion treatment. I ain't gonna do that all day today. I'm trying to rush. Oh, let me go rinse my onion. Oh, look at there. Y'all see that white stuff? Remember? Enzymes. V. All right. I was talking to my son the other day. Me and my son, he um, he taught me to watch the Green Mile. Y'all know Green Mile is one of my favorite movies. And my favorite character is the is the, the old trustee. Lord, if we didn't holler whenever they were practicing to go to the uh, electric chair, you know, so they would, uh, they were getting ready to execute Mr. Delacroix and the, uh, the old trustee. Walking the green mile, walking the green mile, getting right with Jesus. Lord, if I didn't holler, y'all, that is my favorite part. And then whenever he's a getting right with Jesus. And then the other guy said, well, do it quietly, yo, gang. I mean, do it quietly, yo, gang. And then when the old trustee y'all got in the chair, they strapped him down. He, I, I promise you, I like to holler. He said, this is a shocking experience. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And me and my son just laughed our head off. That is like the most funniest part of that movie. But anyway, okay, so here's the veggies. Got them all mixed up. Got my little, uh yellow onions, I got my squash, yellow squash, green peppers, uh, zucchini, and I also have some green onions down here. Like I said, they seen a better day too. They look a little yellow, but I just cut off the bad part. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave some of these to put on the top as garnish because I love fresh, um, I love the taste of fresh onions and normally I would cut them a lot better than this, but like I said, a sister is hungry. Ain't nobody got time for all that today. All right, Angela. I hope you're watching. Now this ain't your, uh, this ain't your shrimp lo mein. I'm leaving some of them on the edge because I'm gonna put those on top. But uh, anyway, it's not your shrimp lo mein, but it is a seafood pasta. Okay. All righty, let me wipe that board off. Okay, so I also have, I'm going to turn this heat up a little bit because I have my wok is simmering. Oh, I guess y'all can't see me. But anyway, I got my wok on there and um, I had it simmering. So, it's not simmering, I had it heating, I'm sorry. Okay, now this is going to be weird. I'm also going to add just a little bit of smoked sausage, y'all, because I want to add a little bit of spice, just a little bit of spice. Not a lot, just a little bit of spice, okay? So let me rinse that off just a little bit of spice okay and I'm just gonna cut this up all right y'all men don't be all nervous I see it's cringing when you saw that but anyway okay so I'm gonna slice this up and I'm gonna go at an angle and just get it you know just a little I want it thin but not too thin so what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to put this in the other pan over here with my other meats. So, whenever we get ready to do all of that, we're going to put them vegetables in and uh, get the flavor started. Okay, so I'm going to put my meat. Like I said, I have shrimp and uh, I have shrimp and I have scallops in here. They were supposed to be bigger than this, but I didn't know they were that small. But anyway, got my shrimp, got my scallops. And I got my sausage. So that's just a little bit. Like I said, it's just enough for me and my son. I don't have to cook a whole lot. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But if I did, it would be all right because I like to cook. All right, people. Let's get this party started. All right. Let me crank this up. I always turn your fan on, y'all. You don't want to burn up nothing. Y'all know how, how we do sometimes. Okay, family, I'm back. So what I've done is I've already sauteed all of the um, veggies. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't saute the veggies. What, <laughs> what I did was I cut all the veggies and sliced and prepared them for the wok. And the wok is hot now, so what we're going to do is we are going to saute the uh, vegetables. And I always like to use, a, you know, like a wooden spoon so you don't scratch your pan or whatever um, and, and stuff. And, and for some reason, I just like wooden spoons. They work better for me. And it depends on what I'm doing. So we're gonna do that real quick. Now here's my trusty wooden spoon. 99 cents for three at Family Dollar. Yes, ma'am, honey. I don't nobody be playing like that. I don't be spending a whole lot of money. Okay, so let me move this camera down here so everybody can see what I am doing. Okay, let's hope I don't drop y'all. Right. Okay, y'all. Mama is hot, as you can see. She's very hot. Like I say, I always turn your fan on because this is going to be hot, you know, going to be hot, probably too hot, y'all. And you know what? I only have it on four. This is olive oil, but you can use any kind of oil that you want. I mean, it's your business. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to saute all these veggies. Okay? And if you see on the side, I have some pasta already waiting. Oh my god, that looks so good. Let me see if I can get y'all a little bit closer without putting it in the pan. God's pepper cheese. Alright, so. Okay, so we got, we got, we sauteing all of the vegetables. You know what I didn't tell you guys? I actually have some Brussels sprouts. But I ain't gonna worry about doing right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika. Y'all know like I have my paprika. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken bouillon, all right, not chicken bouillon, you can get bouillon cubes, whatever, but I like this kind, um, because I can control the portions a little bit better, brown pepper, this is a lot of work y'all, so y'all going to get y'all some regular pepper, that's fine, but I just like the, the freshness of the, um, I just like the freshness of the brown pepper, it just does something to me, honey, and that smell, my God, okay, I'm going to bring this heat up, so like I said, my sister's hungry and everybody got time for waiting all day on her. All right. Who that looks good? All right. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to also add some garlic powder. This is brand new, y'all, so I got to open it. Garlic powder, spice supreme, baby, baby. Yes, sir. 99 cents. For a dollar. See, you need any spice supreme, you got to have a talk because I always use that product and a sister need to be, you know, What's up? I just say that. I ain't gonna say nothing else, but that's what I'm gonna say. Come on, Bessie. Alright, we gotta turn Bessie up a little bit because she's too slow. Y'all know I ain't got no patience. Alright, so while that's simmering, y'all keep an eye on this camp, okay? Y'all keep an eye on this while I go get my shrimp and everything. My shrimp to some people. Oh, you know what? I forgot my parcel, y'all. Okay. Come on, please be merciful and let me have some. Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah, I got no parsley, but that's all right. I'm not good at it. Try my best to get y'all just as close as I can. Okay. All right, y'all can see that. Thank God for staying. Oh, man, I got to See y'all see what I'm doing. What you know what ticked me off is when somebody trying to tell me how to do something that I have to miss hanging off the 
the dang on camera just broke. My God, I wish I could be here because this smells really, really good. I don't mind me. I'm looking for some parsley. Parsley, no parsley. All right, well, we don't have to burn. Now, see, this is when I need somebody's paws because my corn sauce is way back there. But I got it. Got it. Good on the top. Thank you. Oh my God, y'all, it smells so good. Like I said, I just want to caramelize it just a little bit. Just to kind of get those flavors happening. What I didn't tell y'all is, I also found some Brussels sprouts. So what I did was take these bubbles out. I um, kind of, um, you know, what I get out of it. I um, kind of put them in a little bit of water. Put some garlic powder and stuff. So drop that in there. So now we got some, got the zucchini, we got some green, and we got the zucchini, we got green onions, we got yellow onions, we got yellow squash, we got uh, carrots, and we we'll have some broccoli. Y'all think I should put some broccoli in there? Hmm, yeah, let me think. Yeah, I think we should put some broccoli. Okay, y'all, I gotta grab the broccoli. This is absolute fresh broccoli. One of my neighbors had some broccoli and uh, she gave me this broccoli. I, was so, I thought it was so beautiful and sweet. But I think that I have murdered the broccoli, so we're not going to do that. Anyway, that's the broccoli, y'all. Okay, so I got my vegetables all ready. So now I got to get some of the in real quick. Y'all hold tight. Y'all watch it. Don't let it burn now. Okay, all right. So now I just turn it too hot. Just turn that bevel down. Okay. Go ahead. Take these out in there. Yeah, y'all don't be laughing at my old school stove. I bought this stove brand new a few years ago. And she's been good to me ever since. So, all right. So, all right, let's put that back up there. And it's all right if you got a little... A little something, something down there. That's that good stuff. That's called flavor. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Okay. Y'all, yeah, this is going to be all the Jesus to be a fan. Anyway, all right, so. I'm going to put this shrimp in there. Shrimp to some people, shrimp to others. All right. Shrimp. We got some shello. Yeah, I have some shello. So, 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 some fussy and some shrimp. Yeah, I said shrimp. I don't know about it, sir. Whatever. Yeah, I said shrimp. Y'all can let me come up to this place. I'm from the country and I'm prouder and nothing you can do about it. So I'm just going to start that. You see how that didn't hurt my feelings? I thought I was like, Chef Boy, I did. I wanted to be like, Shh, Shh. you know how them fancy chefs be doing it and be like, like all popping up and everything. Let me fire be flying every which way. Leaking out professional. Well, guess what? That ain't me. But maybe one day I get there. Come on, man. Y'all hold on. I gotta get some of this juice out here. I'm not feeling it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I had to bring some of that juice out there. Have y'all ever y'all not seen such tiny shallots? These must have been the family dollar version or something. I don't know. Lord forgive me. Y'all ain't talking about family dollar. I love family dollar. That's my store. That is my store, honey. I get everything. Well, not everything, but you know, look. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit more seasoning. Not a lot because I have seasoning in my veggies. Okay, that was a lot. So, y'all, y'all forgive me. I'm going tell the lie. All right, so this is a little garlic powder. All righty. A little adobo. I guess it's adobo. I don't want to come out. All right, let's do this. Okay, whatever. See, it's on. I want me some parsley. Y'all help me. Lord, they ain't got no parsley. Mm. Now y'all could, if you got these big shrimp like this, you could chop them up if you want to, but that's your business. Do what it do. Alright. So I'm going to let that cook for about another, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. Because as you know, the um, the uh, sausage was already done. The shrimp was already cooked. The fully cooked shrimp, I always get, 90% of the time I always get fully cooked shrimp because I don't want to have to cook them so long or whatever. So the shrimp was already fully cooked, so we basically just warming it up again, 
uh, starting this little bit, basically just warming it up again. But these little baby scallops were raw. So, of course, I want to make sure that they're done with it. See, I'll get a good look at that. Alright, All right, so I'm going to add my vegetables back in. Okay. Alright, and the vegetables back in so they can get acquainted and be happy and all that good stuff. Get on in there, carrot, because I ain't got that many. Put in there. Alright. Okay. Alright, y'all. Starting to look a little Asian, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, boy. Okay. And I'm going to add a little, a little poco mean, whatever it is. Pico man, a poco mean, or whatever it is. Soy sauce. Oop, Lord Jesus. We don't need that in there, y'all. We need a little bit of. Bam. That's it. Alright. Alright. Ooh. That's it. Woo! Y'all, it's looking kind of good. It's looking kind of good. What y'all think? Get it All right. And got that done. Oh, that looks so pretty, man. Y'all see that? Oh, God, look at those, look at those beautiful babies. Look at that. I love food. This is one that big as a house. Also, now, this is where I'm going to throw y'all at. Okay, so a little while ago, I don't know if y'all watched my videos. But I made some strawberry preserves, y'all. And that was the second time I made them. Now, the first time I made my strawberry preserves, they were perfect. Second time I made them, they was a little loose. So it was more like, uh, I don't know, strawberry syrup. But either way, that was good. So I decided, and I also have a um, a barbecue sauce for that I make out of, um, I have a barbecue sauce that I make out of strawberries, my own personal recipe. And uh, I'm sitting here debating whether or not I'm going to put a little bit of that in here to give it a little kick. Let me check. Let me check the flavor real quick. Oh my! Woo! Mm. Hey, your stuff. I was God of everything. Good. And because of who I am, yes, ma'am. I'm gonna add just, just a little bit of my my barbecue strawberry sauce. Wait, just a little too. Wait. I'm gonna taste that. It's good. I promise. Taste. What you think? Mm. Woo! Hey, your stuff. Oh my god. Woo! Mm. I got right, just the right kick. Okay, y'all. If you smell it, start, start sizzling a little bit too fast, please. Don't panic. Now, at this point, I'm turning my heat down. And normally I'll see, like, just a little bit of. I make a roof, but I'm being lazy, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour, just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, and I'm gonna grab just about a fourth of a cup of water so I can get me a little sauce going. A little rare. Y'all know I can't do nothing without making no gravy. Y'all already know, so no way I'm tripping. Okay, see how that thickened it up? Got a little sauce. You know what? I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. A little more, a little more. All right. Okay. And there we go. And guess what I'm about to do now? Yes, honey. I don't have no lo mein noodles. And I don't have none of that, them other egg noodles or whatever it's going to be. But I do got some old, old school angel hair. Yes, ma'am. And here it is. Angel hair pasta. Bam. All right. Bam. Angel hair. Just like a smaller version of spaghetti. We ain't trying to be all sedated. Just say, just say put your spaghetti in it. That's all. Get your little spaghetti. So we mix this up here. Oh my God, my God. God is good all the time. Yes, he is, honey. Okay. Let that simmer. Just a little bit. And I'm going to taste it and see what it needs. Because I want all my flavors to become happy together. I want my flavors to be friends. And, I, man, that, and I'm telling you, that sauce it just gives it an extra like this. Alright, 
it. See what it needs. See what it needs. You know what, y'all? I didn't even put no onion powder in here, but I'm pretty sure it's got enough onions. Onion flavor. Let me just taste this. See what it needs. Hmm. Whoa. needs a little bit more salt. Okay, let me stop. A little bit more salt. And y'all know I use Himalayan. I use Himalayan salt. Alright. So in roughly less than 30 minutes, we have a seafood pasta. Let's get this plated. All right, family. So I am back. Okay. So this is the finished product, you guys. Look at that. It is a seafood pasta with scallops and shrimp and uh, smoked sausage. We have zucchini, yellow squash, yellow onions, carrots green peppers, garlic, we also have vermicelli noodles, uh, some soy sauce, and of course my special strawberry barbecue sauce. Yes, I put strawberry barbecue sauce in here, but anyway, this is the final product, and I have cut up some fresh green onions, well, they wasn't really that fresh, but you know, hey, this is what it is. So, I cut up some fresh green onions, ha! Huh! And put on the top and this is the final uh, plating and I am getting ready to do some work here now you know I can't have a tasting without my sweet tea and also crack some fresh pepper on that bad boy Ooh, yes honey all right so now let me slide this back so y'all can see all right uh oh all right y'all y'all got the bear with me I told y'all I don't know about all this yet okay so Anyway, let's taste this. Okay. Y'all see what I got? Yes, I got that sweet tea, baby, baby. All right. All right. Okay. Trying to make sure y'all can see this food here. All right. But anyway, go ahead and taste this stuff. Make sure I get a scallop, piece of sausage, and scrimp. You know what some people call it? Scrimp. Okay. Oh, oop. You know what I forgot, y'all? Bless the Lord this food that I use. And that's it, our service. Make us ever mindful for the needs of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we also ask you to bless the hands of And if there's anything in this food that's not like you, we ask you to sanctify it right now in your precious holy name. Lord, I thank you also for my, my viewers, God. I ask that you allow my subscriptions to go up. My viewership to go up, Father God. I also ask that you bless us financially, Father God. And if there's anybody out there that would like to donate, they're welcome to do so. And my cash app will be at the bottom. Lord, I thank you right now for giving me the opportunity and ability to be able to do these videos. And I have so much fun. So I thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Here we go, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Woo. Man. Mmm. Woo. Y'all. That was a woo. Mm. That was a big shrimp in there. Yes, it was. Wait a minute. And of course, the crunchiness. Oh, I forgot to say there was celery in there also. Look at that. Let me see. Mmm. Woo. That needs the most salt, though. When I was in culinary school, the chef used to tell me that I use a lot of salt, which I do, but I had to learn. He said, you got to learn to, um, when you season your food, think about other people because you can't salt it to your taste all the time. So I had to back up on the salt, y'all. I really did, so I found the loophole. <laughs> found the loophole and got some pink Himalayan salt. But anyway... I just want to tell you guys, I thank you so much again for watching, and please subscribe to Ronnie, Jack of All Trades. Uh, it is my YouTube channel. I'll be doing a whole lot of different things because I do a whole lot of different things in life. And hey, if I get the fear to do it, I'm going to do it.
but my passion is cooking you guys and everybody that knows me knows that so thank you for watching my channel subscribe share subscribe share and I will post my cash app at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to donate some money that will help me out as far as ingredients uh, equipment or whatever and I'm hoping one day the Lord might bless me with my own studio that I can do this better or I may get picked up by hey you never know food network you never know but at the end of the day, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. This is my Ronnie's pop-up scallop shrimp sausage seafood pasta. Now, Angela Jones, I'm going to get your shrimp lo mein. We're going to do that, girl, okay? Because you have inspired me on today. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good evening. And know that Ronnie loves you.